I think this is a tremendously exciting project because what we're trying to do is to give schools tools with which they can actually produce their own curricula. So rather than curricula just being handed down because of tradition, the idea is that curricula become designed by schools. And I think this is particularly important, as Sue mentioned, schools, because there's a national curriculum, have often thought they don't need to actually invent their own curriculum. But the point is, the national curriculum was never really a curriculum. If you think about curriculum, people often think about what's in the ring binders that the government sent out. That is what sometimes people call the intended curriculum. Then there's the implemented curriculum. That's what happens when textbook writers write textbooks to help teachers teach the new national curriculum. But what really matters, the real curriculum, is the achieved curriculum. It's the lived daily experience of young people in classrooms. And that is always created by teachers. It is only teachers who create the real curriculum. And so the tragedy, I think, of the last 20, 25 years is that we've actually got into a position where we think that teachers don't create curriculum, the government does it for us, and all the government has done is come up with a series of destinations of where we want students to reach. The experience of children in classrooms is at least as much due to how things are taught as to what is taught. I think pedagogy trumps curriculum every time. A great curriculum, badly taught, is always a worse experience than a bad curriculum, well taught. I'm not saying the curriculum is irrelevant in terms of what's in those ring binders, but ultimately the experiences of young people depend far more on how teachers work with those ideas than the ideas themselves.